Bomba Fish here, and I'm playing Red Dead Redemption. Happy 2015! This is one of my favorite games of all time, so I hope you guys enjoy it. For one, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. Uh -huh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon, we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. 
sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Cowboy on. What are you doing up there, fella? John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. That guy's grooving out on the piano. All righty, Mr. Marston, let's get it. Hey, let's go. Take it easy until we're out of town. Ain't no point in causing a rope. Let's go. Telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. You ain't very talkative, are you? Yeah, no. Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. 
I tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Not far now, Mr. Marston. The fort's just over this hill. All right, I'm gonna get off the path. Come on. Let's go. Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. I will. <laughs> that guy's crazy old poop. for you. Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Right now, right now, right now. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Oh, man. Bill. I implore you, think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you. <laughs> implores you. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor John. Sucker shot. Wow, fight me like a real man. What are they doing to my body? <laughs> That guy's strong. Well, you're alive. Yes, I am. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. <laughs> I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. Ew. I'm sorry, madam. You should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Oh, yeah. Bonnie McFarland. 
Miss Bonnie McFarlane. I like McFarlane. Bonnie. She's cool. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. <laughs> Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? He went I to have. go for his hat. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. <laughs> I try not to. I'll bear that in mind. Look at me, I'm hurt. Ouch. Bonnie's on the map. We're gonna go talk to Bonnie right now. Hello. What's she doing? Making soup? Peace out. <laughs> I like the way he runs. Hey, girl. What you doing? Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. All right, let's go. Did I trip you? <laughs> Did I trip her right now? What is she doing? Hey, little chicken. Come in, little chicken. <laughs> There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse Yay, for thank you. you. My horsey. Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearing. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. <laughs> not that it's not time yet for a gun shooting. Yeah. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Cold drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you did. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. <sighs> Open and try not to get yourself shot you again. Not to. <laughs> Let's go, Bonnie. Come on. Thank you.
you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a <laughs> rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Again. Get down and give me a hand, will you? Come on, then. Time to put that bloodlust of yours to good use. Good shot. Oh, Better shoot the rabbits than outlaws, yeah. I see. I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after <laughs> all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. <laughs> this is you, Mr. Marston. Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. <laughs> Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. Good job. Well, this is Red Dead Redemption. It gets crazy. It's going to be super awesome. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this nice gameplay of it. So we will be back in the Wild Wild West next time. I hope you guys had a great New Year's Eve and are looking forward to the next segment of Red Dead Redemption. I'll see you guys later. Bye!